gather some supplies to create along with me as I fill some sketchbook spreads. You know, the usual sketchbooking supplies, wooden coffee stirrers, cotton balls, aluminum foil, glitter. Okay, I guess I kind of went a bit nuts in the depths of fun I had in creating the spreads I'm about to show you. I recently completed my second year of creating in sketchbooks. Thank you so much if you've been following along. For me, sketchbooking started after I decided to give up crafting dioramas. I no longer wanted to make big bulky things that I then had to store in my house somewhere. So I started scheming for ways to fill my sketchbooks. But I miss crafting! So I decided to make a little wooden fence, kind of real wood, to live in my sketchbook. Then I needed a landscape to go along with my weathered and worn little fence. My mind went to a junkyard filled with heaps of crushed cars. It was time to bring some aluminum foil into the mix. ahead of time that I wanted to make a cutout so that I could view my little fence through holes in a couple of previous pages. I didn't know what to create on those previous pages, but that would be a problem for future Marcy to deal with. I know these crushed cards are pretty weird, but I gotta say, I love how grungy and crinkled they are and how the different colors came out. So I stacked them up and glued them on in. They were pretty bulky and I wanted them to be as flat as possible. So I used my tried and true method of pressing them under about 40 pounds of old pennies. I've been lugging this jug of pennies around for a couple of decades. After my grim and grungy crushed car junkyard, I wanted something different and I made some pretty blue shutters for my window.
pretty up the vibe. I decided to make a meadow filled with some sheep for my middle spread. Despite my penny's best efforts, the paper was pretty wrinkled, but I think it just added to the texture of the meadow and the sky. The poor paper was struggling though, and I gave it a little TLC with a hairdryer. I made a little pile of legless sheep, but I glued on some legs and some cotton balls for their wool. Here's a little lamb, another little lamb, and their mama. I think my favorite part of this strange little project is these flower pots to put on my windowsill. Ooh, these bright acrylic colors in the sunshine. any of you were to sketchbook something with coffee stirrers, aluminum foil, and cotton balls, please share it. It could be a whole new thing. I know that probably won't happen. Maybe it could be a new collaboration though, where if you want to collaborate on a video, we could pick some strange materials to use and then see what everyone came up with. I adore my little window, but I know it needed some house around it. So I made some yellow ochre boards and some red boards to make some house siding and a front door. can spot a little glimpse of an extra sheet there that I glued down. I've been really enjoying my sort of anything goes attitude lately. Just adding in these unusual materials really made me excited and inspired to play in my sketchbook.
I decided to add a character to the left side of this spread and I used one of the patterns for these little paper dolls I've made in the past. Now, I've been around the block a few times, so of course I know that glitter is the absolute devil, but I was thinking about how to dress my doll and stumbled upon this most adorable packet of magically sparkly glitter. I'm afraid I fell under its spell. I mod podged it to smithereens, though, to try to keep it from being able to escape in the future. And then when I still wasn't so sure that I was safe from it, I polyurethaned the bejesus out of it. The glitter is still getting out, though. I added a tree branch to cover up the sloppy edge of that house. And about this point, I realized that my character is a disco queen and that she needed to be picking an apple from the tree branch in the yard. Is she eating? Is she hungry? I'm not exactly sure. But does it matter? I would love to hear what you think of my little strange adventure. And if you might want to do a collab with me where we pick out some unusual materials, to create something new in a sketchbook or out, please let me know. I think that would be really fun.